Don't put your hand over here. Okay. All right. This is <clears throat> how to solve the problem of getting the, I guess it's the, uh, SK, you know, the, the medicine for Bootser to not sting. So they sell this um, Galax, I mean, G Gilead Science, GS, uh, this bottle, well, see, I told you, Mark, GS, uh, what is it, 44, 25, 14, or that thing. So here's the Gilead Science Medicine. So I've worked that out here, and I already did the experiments, but you know, it's a 10% of the buffer. So I'm going to put 800, that's 800, plus 80, plus 16. Anyway, it's, it turns out to be one. I, I worked out. It's 800 microliters plus 100 microliters of, of sodium, uh, one normal sodium carbonate, bicarbonate, and uh, with the baking soda. And then I put in one XPBS. And it sort of reduces the viscosity. So, so here you go. Uh, just to make it accurate, get the 200 microliter of patent. These are sterile, and I, and I sprayed my hands down, sprayed everything down. I sterile filtered these. So now I want to get 800 of this, and should be there should be 800 in here because it's just now it's viscous. So you got to be careful with this stuff. So not so fast. That's 200, 400. This is just a buffering. I mean, it's, you know, it's the right amount, but I just it makes it so it buffers well. Six hundred, and I'm going to have some left over, which I'll save. No, not much. I put eight twenty in there, and that is there's about twenty of that, but I'll save it anyway. My hands are sterile, so now this is that's the med. You know, just when it run out. So then you got to go down to a hundred. See, I, I made everything so it's a nice even number here. Now it's still viscous, and it's it's so viscous that it's hard to get through a regular syringe. So what I did with this volume, a hundred milliliters works well. Now this is this is the medicine I just this is the one I just used to pull it out of. So I'm going to leave that on there for now. But for booth for, for the injection, I'm going to go to the 21 gauge. So get that out. And I'll change it. I'll, I'll change it out from the 18 gauge. All right, so that's for that. So this is the, this is the, uh, right there, that's 800 microliters of his medicine, almost a mil. So sodium bicarbonate, as it turns out, 100 microliters of this. I mean, I worked this out with smaller quantities so I won't waste it. Sterile filtered. I sprayed the cap already, put it on real tight. And I sprayed my hands. I don't need gloves, but I put it, I would sort of hand the thing sterilely. Semi sterile. Now here's so a hundred microliters of this. There's a hundred. A hundred. Sodium bicarbonate. Approximately one normal. Now here's the interesting thing, it bubbles. So you put this in. See that? Doesn't come out of solution. <coughs> Nothing comes out of solution. See? You see it comes out of solution? So that's almost pH seven. So then you get another sterile tip. And just a sort of, yeah, it had no buffer in there, so it's, it's all over the place. So put in some 1x PDS. I, I, I on purpose didn't to go with 10x, because then the salt would be too high, and that might precipitate out whatever the stuff is. The myster, mysterious material. So 100 of this, put this into the mix. And of course, mix it up. So here it is. You know, the one problem, as you know, in science is mixing. Everything has to be mixed. Mixing is the important thing because if it's not mixed, then there's some acidic part, some basic part. So mixing is always important. Maybe it forgets it. Okay. So that's now, like I said, I already kept in the. 18 gauge needle. Well, it doesn't, you know, they know vacuum, so you don't have to pull back. So, you know what I mean? You don't, they know vacuum there. So, it should all comfortably go into this syringe. 
and it's a little less viscous than it used to be because I put in some of the other stuff. The baking soda? Baking soda and PBS. Mm. A few bubbles. It's on air. Now it's coming out. Okay, so here's your there's your 1cc. It's a little over 1cc according to this, but that's all right. Cap, I always cap like it's a 45 degree angle. Of course, they say never cap it, but I've never failed to get it right. Here's the Bootsers syringe. For Bootser, get a little more that's a Bavera. Okay. Now, come over here. Boots are on the hands that you can come over here. It's time to go. It's So, you should not I know you can't see too much. Oh, does this work? Yeah. Okay. Don't sit. You don't sit down. Of course. You move. Then, uh. what, do you, what do you think? So, then you take his skin. And nobody's seen, so you tent it up like this, and you shove this in, make sure that it goes in all the way. Oh, nothing coming back out. It's not very baby. It, it kind of, it kind of, the needle poked them. See? No constant, ah, ah, no meow, right, Bootser? See, because it's neutral. It was just a little meow with the stick. See, wasn't that much better, Bootsers? A little bit came out. Should I turn this off now? No, come here, come here. I want to show you. I forgot to do. So, but you see, he, he didn't you know, mind that much. No. And I think the minding, you might say, well, it's just, it doesn't mean anything, but it might be that that. I forgot to do this. What is this? I forgot to test it. Hmm. The pH paper. So, this is mid. And it is in this syringe, too, in this pipette. So I get a little bit. And it should be, you know, you see here. You can't, you're not enough to do it like a bee's meat. So it, it should be like that. The middle part should be semi green. All right, so so that, you can see, if you line that up, looks like that one, 6.5. Or really, it looks like that, that one, one yeah. seven. So it's perfectly neutral. See, if you do a stop, I did, you put it in boot, it doesn't even go down low. It's like, minus one or whatever i know that can't go but it's very low ph normally so this is what this is the goal to do is get it to that and then it doesn't hurt when it goes in boots barely even knew it went in right okay that, that's it let me turn let me turn it off <laughs>